moving on to main topic number three. The next two topics will be pretty brief, just to let everyone know. And then we're going to be doing the long, substantial, hopefully fun section of this. But let's talk about NBC Universal's Peacock. You'd think I would have fun talking about Peacock because I get to say Peacock in a family-friendly manner. But I don't. I just think it's a stupid name. Anyway, uh, they launched a couple weeks ago, and the question has come up, are they doing well? And the answer is, they appear to be off to a strong start. According to the International Business Affairs, more than 10 million households have signed up for Peacock, the new streaming service from Comcast and NBC Universal. The media giant shared the update in its second quarter earnings release, and management had much more to say about the early results during the company's conference call. Jeff Shell, who I don't like because of what's going on with AMC right now, says, Not only are more people signing up than we projected, but they are watching more frequently and engaging much longer than we projected. At its investor day in January, management said it expected to have 30 million to 35 million active accounts by 2024, while Share clarified that signups don't necessarily translate into monthly active accounts, he did note that all the metrics are ahead of expectations. We didn't expect this many signups. We didn't expect people to come back as frequently as they've come back, and we didn't expect people to watch as long as they're watching once they come back. Now, on one hand, you could say this really isn't that impressive. I mean, Disney Plus premiered with 50 plus million users. Granted, a lot of those were free trial users and a good por- and Disney Plus. We have records that Disney Plus is a very, very poor retention for a lot of people. But they definitely launched lower than that. And it might even raise an eyebrow because Peacock is free. Like, you don't have to pay for Peacock if you don't want to. I do because I don't want the ads and plus, you know, early bird special. You know, so I got like a huge discount. But at the same token, considering how many um, account you know services that there are out there, which again we'll be talking about later, and how many choices there are, it is impressive that Peacock did crack 10 million. Also, I believe Peacock is off to a slow start um, because they don't have much on there. But once the office hits Peacock, oh, you bet it's going to do great people will actually probably cancel their Netflix accounts for for the office and parks and recreation. Either way, 10 million is pretty much what we have right now, and we'll have to see whether what that's going to look like by the end of the year. But now I pass the question off to you. Do you think 10 million is a lot of people? Do you think this is impressive, or do you think it's not really that impressive? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.